Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Keldeo. Now Keldeo is a relatively cool Pokemon. It has really high special attack and pretty good speed. It has pretty good defenses and pretty good HP as well. Now its move pool is a little bit lacking, I will admit that. Um, I've come up with four sets for you today. So uh, three generic and one Dynamax and let's just jump straight in. So the first one we have is just a life orb set so we just have life orb on here increasing up our power but we have got four uh, very good moves on here as well we've got justified which boosts up the attack so if you want to try and run some kind of attack set where it relies on you being hit by dark type moves you could but uh, that would be a very niche set and it'd be very specific to um, battling dark types for example now move wise i've gone for secret sword now secret sword is a special type move with base 85 um, it damages on the defense rather than the special defense. So if you have a very uh, defense, especially defensive Pokemon such as Chansey or Blissey come in, uh, because they will be available when the expansion pass comes out, you can then use the Secret Sword on them. It will still be super effective, but it will go on the defenses, which are very, very low, meaning that you will do a lot more damage to them. We've also got Hydro Pump, powerful stab, water type attack. It's a variety of Pokemon. Icy Wind, which can hit things like Grass types, which you are weak to and Flying types, which you are also weak to, and it also slows them down. So slowing down Pokemon could be really beneficial for you here, um, because base 108 speed boss is really good. Uh, there are some Pokemon that are that little bit higher that could do with that speed drop, and it could potentially force them into a switch, for example. And finally, we've got Air Slash. Just hits a few more different Pokemon that you couldn't have necessarily hit before. EVs gone for max special attack and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. I would say make sure that you go for uh, the timid nature here. You could do with getting as much speed as you possibly can. The second set we have is a calm mind set, so we're setting up our special attack and our special defense, uh, which if you use that each turn, it will just create a very, very large, um, two very large stats. Move wise, we've got Focus Blast, powerful fighter type move that hits a variety of different Pokemon for stab damage. Scold is the same for water and also has the chance to burn Pokemon, so physical Pokemon become a lot less scary if you manage to get the burn on them. And then Air Slash again, because as I said, it's just a really good coverage move to have uh, for different Pokemon. Now I've put Red Card on here. I haven't shown many Red Cards on my sets, but Red Card, if you survive the hit, the attacker is forced to switch to a random ally. So let's say that they bring in a Rillaboom, for example, and they go for Drum Beating. You live that hit, and they then get pushed out again. So they'd have to force that switch the next turn to be able to get that back in, allowing for you to potentially get another Calm Mind up and possibly get into a Sweeping Mind... Um, not Sweeping Mindset, but possibly get um, boosted up so you can be able to sweep the team. EV's gone for max special attack and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed, less attack, and four EVs in um, special defense. Now, if you wanted to, you could go max HP instead of max speed on this, um, but it's up to you what you decide to go for. You could also go max HP, max defense, so you could create more of a tanky Pokemon that can live hits on both sides, but that is entirely up to you what you decide to go for um, based on what you're looking on the build. The third Keldeo set we have is a Swords Dance set, so taking advantage of that Justified, I know it's base 72 attacks, that is very low, but using Swords Dance we can double that, so from 243 that goes close to 500, having the leftovers there heals you up whilst you're using Swords Dance, so maybe you could get two Swords Dances off, um, it's definitely possible, or you could run Life Orb for example to just increase up that power output. And then move-wise, we have Close Combat, Powerful Fighter type move that hits a variety of different Pokemon. Liquidation, Powerful Water type attack and can reduce the defense of different Pokemon. And then Stone Age to hit things like Flying types, which can be a bother for you. And also Ice types, because they might hold Freeze Drive, for example, so that could be an issue for you as well. Eevee's gone for Max Speed and Max Attack here, with a Jolly Nature, so more speed, less Special Attack, and 4 Eevees in Special Defense. I'd recommend again going for Jolly, just as you want that speed. And the final set we've gone for. Now, I couldn't come up with a very good special set for Dynamaxing unless you was to go for something like Weakness Policy um, and then go for Air Slash as um, raising up through Max Airstream. Those, that's the only one I could really think of that might be beneficial for you. But I've gone on the attacking side. So on here we have the Choice Band, meaning your attack is 1.5 times. Now, if you don't want to use Choice Band, you can use things like Life Orb or any kind of Berries or even Red Card as well. 
So lots of options that you have there. If you do go for the choice band, you are not locked into the move when you're Dynamax, so you can use whatever move you see fit. When you're Dynamax, you have Close Combat, which is a powerful fighter type attack, and it turns to Max Knuckle, increasing up the attack of you and your ally. Liquidation has the option for um, setting up the... I can't think what it is. Liquidation has the option for setting up the Rain through Max Geyser. Um, so if you have a Pokemon from a Rain team on there, that could be beneficial. So like things like Swift Swim. You've got Stone Edge again to hit things like the Flying Types and can even set up a Sandstorm if you needed like the Sand Rush um, to maybe get things like Excadrillion, that's an option. And then finally Mega Horn, which is just a powerful bug type attack and hits things like Grass Types with super effective damage. EVs come from Max Attack and Max Speed. Jolly Nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. As you're not going for a max airstream to reset up your speed, I'd recommend always going for the Jolly here. That is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here. So with a good one, and I'll see you soon.